everyone, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella. I'm a zero-based cash stuffer from Ontario, Canada. I am a single mom. I am 29 years old and I am paid bi-weekly. Um, today I'm going to be doing my budget breakdown for my paycheck that comes out tomorrow, March 2nd, 2023. Today is March 1st. Today is the Wednesday. I get paid on Thursdays. Every night um, at about 8 o'clock p.m., my um, app that I have through work renews or updates and tells me what I'm going to be paid for the Thursday and that's why I'm able to sit down and create my budget for the upcoming uh, pay period and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to walk you guys through how I do my my budget um, and yeah that's that's what we're going to do today. Okay so first step to creating a budget is to know what your expenses are. So this pay, um, so between tomorrow, the, the second and the 16th, what is it, what is important to know? So I do have a day off on the Friday. My phone bill, which is not actually $80, it's actually $90, comes out tomorrow. Um, my income taxes, I found out the other day, are going to cost $175. I'm going to go pay those um, tomorrow as soon as I'm done work. Um, on the 10th, I get $30 from the Trillium Benefit. Um, as far as anything, I am actually off this entire week. Um, it's March break for our kids um, from the 13th to the 17th. So I booked that week off as well so that I could be home with my son and not have to pay for childcare. Um, and I also booked his appointment for his respirologist that day as well, or that week. Um, I booked it for the 16th. That is in London, Ontario, which is like, uh, I think that's like a two and a half hour drive for us as well. Um, so it's going to be a long day that day. Um, and for anyone who was here last week, um, when I was telling you guys about my son's appointment, he was going to the allergist on the 24th. We found out that he has a slight allergy to mold, but he has a pretty heavy allergy like myself to dust. So all the more reason for him to start helping tidy up the house so that it doesn't get dusty. <laughs> all right. So yeah, biggest uh, expenses I have this round um, are my holidays, which are coming up. Luckily, it's a payday on the day that I'm supposed to drive to London. My phone bill, which is $90. My taxes, which is $175. That's what I got. All right. So we're going to put that away. And what I like to always do is I always like to start with a rough copy um, in case I make any mistakes. And that way I don't ruin my binder or my, my little notebook, which I think I might be on like one of the last pages for that this budgeting book. But anyway, um, so first and foremost, tomorrow is my payday. Tomorrow is March 2nd. And I'm going to be getting paid $1,436.90. That is with overtime, guys. I do not make this much on a regular basis. Um, I have been working overtime every opportunity I've been given. Um, because money is fun. I enjoy money. Um, I enjoy going farther in my uh, my financial life. Um, actually, you know what? Speaking of which, we're into a new month. So in the comments below, tell me what your like primary financial um, goals are for, for the month of March. Um, is there something that you are hoping to pay off this month, uh, something special you're planning on doing this month, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear about it. Okay, so first and foremost, we've got, um, as you can see, I knocked off $1.90. That is because when I go to the bank, I don't want to ask them to give me $1.90 and change. I'm going to leave that in my account um, as a buffer or whatever. And I'm just going to take out the $1,435. Um, and then, well, we will divide it as follows. So um, I'm going to start with babysitter. Um, this is the one that comes to my house in the mornings. And I owe her $135 this pay. 
because she had to take my son last week during a snow day. They actually closed the school, which almost never happens over here. Um, then I'm going to be putting $200 on my credit card. And my sister, we have the floating 30 and I'm going to be honoring that as well. My phone bill, which I've said is actually not $80, it's $90. My tax-free savings, which comes out automatically, generally it'll come out probably on Monday, and that is $100. And then I have to pay my tax lady. Um, I owe her $175, but if you were here last week, you'll know I put $50 aside last pay um, to pay her. And um, I, I wasn't sure at that point how much it was going to cost. But I have since found out, and uh, therefore, I, I now have an answer. So $135 plus $200 plus $30 plus $90 plus 225, $680. And we're going to, oopsie, subtract one, four, three, five. That leaves us with 755 to budget. Okay, so we're gonna jump onto our necessities. But before we do, I just wanted to break this down. So. So these here are all of my online expenses. Okay, so these are anything that will be paid via e-transfer, um, automatic withdrawal, or um, if I actually have to physically pay a bill online, that is where this money goes. So $680, I will never see. That's never going to materialize in my hands. Whereas this money here is how much I'm going to go to the bank tomorrow and ask them to withdraw. That is 755. Okay, so and then what am I going to do with the $755 in cash you ask? Let me tell you. So we're going to start with groceries. Um, since I have a week off coming up, I'm going to put just a teeny tiny little bit more in my grocery budget. I'm going to put 160 instead of my normal 150. I'm going to also um, put extra in my gas, but it's going to be a little more because I do have a week off. My sister has the same week off. We're discussing maybe going to see my brother. Um, he lives like two and a half hours away. And yeah, we'll see. Dine out. Um, I've decided to give that more too, because once again, if we're doing day trips, we're going to want to have a little more um, to spend. And then uh, my son has a birthday party this weekend, of course, Mr. Popular. Um, and then I've decided to split. I don't know. I don't know. Like even now, I don't know why I did this. I could just I could just write fun and then vacation underneath it, but I decided I was gonna combine them this time um, because fun and vacation kind of go hand in hand this time. Um, so I'm literally going to stuff them. Uh, I'm gonna break this 130 right in half, and so it's like $65 each envelope. But I I don't know why I I don't know why I did that anyway. Um, Wow. For kiddo, I'm going to be giving him $20. I feel like we'll probably end up at like arcade or something like that. Um, personal, just because we will be, like I said, I'm going to be on holidays and I might want to buy a little something, something. And, you know, sometimes you got to, you know, you got to spoil yourself a little. Um, so I put $50 aside for myself. Um, envelopes. So when I write envelopes, I mean my 100 envelope challenge, I actually just broke it out for the first time um, in my unstuffing video in, in weeks. Like I don't think I've even looked at that thing in, in weeks. Um, but I, when I was stuffing um, some money earlier today, I did not realize that 
I didn't have a single envelope stuffed with a $20 bill yet. So I'm going to budget to do just that. All right. So then we got emergency. And we're going to budget. Um, I actually don't know. I forgot I have to keep track. We got 160 plus 180 plus 100 plus 20 plus 130 plus 20 plus 50 plus 20 minus 755. I have $75 to go. Okay. So in emergency, I will do 50. And then in, um, what do I have? Like $25 left. And we'll do vet. I do want to take all the pets to the vet at some point. So if I'm correct, that should equal $755, which should leave me with $0 remaining. <sighs> okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to move this to the side. We're going to grab our budgeting book, which I have so carefully marked here with this pen. We're just going to throw all of these into there. Um, one thing I will touch on, you see that rent isn't on here, and that is simply because this is one of those um, wonderful months where I'm going to be getting three pays this month um, because they're just that's just how it works out. So um, my mom and I discussed it, and I'm going to pay rent on the last two pays since I've got holidays and taxes coming out on this one. Um, but yeah, anyway. So we're just going to move all of this information into here. So income, it's work. And it was $1,435. In total, $1,435. Month is March. It'll be for the second. $1,435. OK. So the bills to be paid, so we got babysitter. That is 135. We've got a credit card, which I have a $3,000 maxed out credit card. Um, I did just recently put um, like 120 or something like that from my um, car fund onto my credit card. Um, because I knew I had more expenses coming and I didn't want it to max out. So I added that onto my credit card. Um, and I've decided to make credit, like my credit cards, my biggest fi uh, financial priority right now, just because I do really need a car and I do really want a car, but more importantly, I need to pay off my credit cards because credit card debt, especially with the rates of interest and such, it just, Having a maxed out credit card, if I leave it, the rates are going to continue to go up and it's going to become impossible to pay off. So I've decided that that's going to be my priority. Plus, having a credit card that's, um, you know, paid in full, paid up, makes it so that it's, you know, your rates, your rates and stuff will be better if you finance a car or, you know, even someday if I decide to buy a house, um, my mortgage and stuff, I'll get better rates if I have better credit rates. So... Anyway, uh, tax-free savings account is 100. Taxes is 175, but I only need to take out 125. So in total, that comes to $680. And we're gonna switch everything over. Okay, other expenses. We've got groceries. 160 gas 180 dine out and this is something I'm going to really like work on reducing as the time goes on um, my dine out like I, I eat out at least once a week every week and that's that's so expensive mind you with the price of groceries right now, it doesn't save money to buy and cook at home either. So, fun slash vacay, which again, I don't know why I did it this way, but I did. 
So we'll just continue on. Kiddo, I'm gonna give him 20. Personal, I'm gonna give myself 50. Um, envelopes. I'm going to put a 20 in there and then emergency. Put a 50 in there and then vet. And we're going to do 25, which puts us at a total of 755. Our total income budget was $1,436. Um, but I'm going to rewrite it as $1,435. So we'll just cross like that. So then we've got total expenses, $1,435. And then that makes the difference of $0. Okay, so now we're just going to set this aside really quick so that we can figure out our denominations for, um, for our money. Okay, so um, we have three things on here that's gonna be divided into two. And that would be fun and vacation, groceries, and gas. Um, the reason these are divided is because I do get paid bi-weekly and therefore if I spend my entire $160 budget on week one, I'm not going to have any food left once it comes to the second part of my pay period. So I divide these ones in half and then that way when I am stuffing my, my cash, half of it goes into my budget binder and the other half goes into my wallet. All right, so how are we going to do this? We're going to do 50, 50... Uh, 20, 20, 10, and 10. I can use 10s this time because I'm actually going to the actual bank. So then we have 180, so we'll do 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. Dine out, we will do a 50, we'll do two 20s, and we'll do a 10. I like to have smaller bills for when I'm leaving tips. Um, gifts, uh, I think I just did, yeah, I did 20, so let's do a 20, make it easy. Fun or vacation, or fun and vacation, we'll do two 50s. And then we'll do um, 50, 1, 10, 20, 5, 30. Kiddo will do a 10 and two fives. That way I have allowance for him for the upcoming two weeks. Personal, I'll just do a 50. Envelopes, I just want to do a 20. Emergency, we'll just do a 50. Vet, we'll do a 20 and a five. All right, so we've got $5 bills times $10 bills, $20 bills, $50 bills and I know I haven't explained this in a little while so the reason why I don't do $100 bills is because in Canada we have a really bad reputation of having a lot of counterfeit bills um, plus a lot of places don't take hundreds so it's they're really hard to spend and it's really hard to trust them and therefore I just don't feel comfortable having them um, so yeah the highest I will ever intentionally have is a 50 because like I said, the hundreds just, they, I'm not comfortable with them. Um, anyway, so fives, um, we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five, uh, five fives, tens. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got six tens. 20s, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 20s, 50s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. All right, so 
5 times 5 is 25. Um, 10 times 6 is 60. 20 times 11 is 220. 50 times 9, well, 55, 50, 50 times 10 is 500, minus 50 is 450. Okay, so now we'll grab our handy dandy calculator. So you got 25 plus. Now this should end up being 755. 220 plus 450, 755, perfect. So these are the denominations which I will take out of the bank when I'm there tomorrow. Um, I'll tell her I want $755, please, and then I will tell her um, I want five, five, six, tens, eleven, twenties, and nine, five, fifties. Um, and yeah, so that is how I do my budget breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, once again, if you didn't watch the beginning of the video, I am wondering what your biggest financial goal is this, this month for March. Um, whether you're saving up for something specific, whether you are, um, paying for something very specific. Maybe your financial goal is to get your taxes done. Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below what your biggest financial goal of March is. Um, I think mine, my biggest financial goal for March um, is I'm working really, really hard on credit cards right now, like on my credit card. That's, that's my biggest, I think. Um, but also, if uh, depending on my income taxes, like if I get something back, my my biggest goal for March will be to give my son a brand new bedroom. Like he wants to have his walls painted. I want to get him a new bed. Um, he currently has a twin. He's getting a little bit too big for a twin. Um, I also want to get him a bed that has like the drawers underneath, like the captain's bed, because his room doesn't have a closet, and his dresser doesn't have very deep um, drawers. So I want to kind of just revamp his room. You know, he's getting older and I want to make him feel like he's, like his room is growing with him. So that is what my big financial goal is. Um, unfortunately, I will have to count on if I get an income tax return, um, if I can do that at all or not. Um, also my biggest, my biggest, um, my mom and I are huge gardeners, so I think that in March um, I'm really excited to get my seedlings all started so that in the summer I can save money on produce, um, stuff like that I take to work. I take green pepper, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, strawberries, peas, all of that stuff. I love taking that on my lunch and I'm just, I'm so excited how much money I can cut out of my, my grocery budget once I can start growing my own stuff again. It's my favorite part of the year, truthfully. But anyways, that's, that's, that's all I've really got to say tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with my cash stuffing video. Have a great night. Bye.